Hi guys, uh, this is kind of a video that I promised a guy I would do. It's, uh, I had a comment, someone on here, uh, asked me about the schematics that I show sometimes on the screen and, and or sometimes I print out and stuff and where I got them from. I'm not sure um, the one that I'm showing on here on eBay is exactly the same guy I got mine from, but uh, I think it is. Um, anyway, I will leave the link to this page. But it, he's charging only eight ninety nine, and it's free shipping. Uh, he's it's both writers and Beatmans. You get uh, uh, twenty three volumes of. Uh, writers radio schematics it's just the radios on a DVD along with uh, Beatman their their schematics most often needed uh, covering the same year range I think it's like from 19 uh, the mid to late 20s all the way through uh, the 60s or 70s or something like that and uh, plus, it also has got a dial um, diagram on here. So uh, he, you know, for several dials, uh, stringing diagram too. Anyway, eight ninety nine, and that's that's what I use. Now uh, you don't have to go this route. It's on eBay again. I in the description. If you all look in the description, I will leave all the sites I talk about on here in there now another place is Sam's Sam's website Howard as Sam's or Sam's photo fact um, they they're still in business so uh, you can order a model chassis number and so on um, as well and Uh, it's for the older ones it's fifteen dollars sometime in the sixties I think it was uh, uh, early sixties back I think it, everything is like fifteen dollars and you can go direct download I mean immediately as soon as you uh, make the purchase they'll give you a uh, email and you can download and then after that point, and I'm not exactly sure exactly what date that is, but then there are $22 beyond that. But that's, uh, again, I will put the uh, um, website uh, in the description, a link, so that you can just link right to it. Now, this guy is great. Um, this is Steve's Antique technologies uh, he's has he has um, uh, three different actual sites and he's got well he says here now he's down to 399 for the most popular photo facts and their instant download uh, he ranges from I th well 399 up to nine I think 99 depending on what it is he has most all the Sams. Uh, I, he's been slowly getting more. And you can search on his site and uh, uh, order from him. And some of them are uh, downloads, some of them are hard copy uh, and stuff. He also has uh, some service information, you know, factory service information on some, some of the radios and you know, manufacturers original factory service manuals, as it says here. So, again, I will put the link in the description. And then, uh, if you're working with, uh, like, on a Philco, this is a great site. Uh, he has schematics uh, and service information. Great, a lot of information plus. Uh, over on the side here, he's got several links on various different uh, topics and, and information on uh, on Philco radios. Uh, it's a Philco, ra uh, Philco repair bench, 
but he does sell service information and uh, I'm not sure the price I forgot to look that up but you can check him out another guy is the radiola guy it's got a lot of uh, service information and, and schematics and stuff for a lot of different radios he's primarily RCA but he does have for other stuff and he also has other things on here that he has for sale and stuff now <coughs> excuse me a couple free sites if you're working on TVs now they don't have everything but they've been slowly building their database up um, is early television foundation plus they've got a lot of other information on here and stuff so uh, it's a great site to go to and but they do have uh, either Riders or Sam's or I believe Wallace uh, on here but they they they've been slowly uh, gaining more and more information but they they've got quite a few schematics of of early televisions you know late 40s and stuff televisions and now another site is nostalgia air uh, it's a free site it's got it's all writers uh, I believe it is fully complete you just go to resources and you click on it and it's got all your uh, radios and stuff and you can look them up uh, they also have a tube site you type in your tube you know let's say like a, oh uh, say 6 F6 and it'll give you um, the pinout and also it will give you um, if there's any substitutes, uh, the various substitutes. Uh, they also have reference articles and information, items for sale and so on. They have a forum on here and stuff. So again, all these sites will be in the description links to them. So you can um, look them up, get what you need, and find the information. Plus, there is other things you can do. Uh, the internet is a wealth of information. So you can look up your radio. If you got a radio or TV, make, model, um, type in something towards like schematics or service information, and then you'll be able to find stuff. There's also various different forms out there. Um, uh, that you can ask information on ask them about you know where to get a schematic or anything else a lot of those guys that's on the forums uh, if they may have a manual uh, Sam's Riders Wallace or even a factory service information that they'll scan and email you uh, free of charge plus you know if you're looking for something else maybe you got a bad interstage audio transformer or, or you know something like that you know, if anybody, you know, there's maybe someone that's parting out a radio, uh, same type of radio that can help you out. <coughs> so, just look up, uh, I think you can do just a search on forums, um, antique radio forums or vintage radio or TV forums. There's audio karma, video karma, antique radio forums. Um, again, Nostalgia Air has its own forum. Uh, and so on now uh, but also if you do just a search there's sometimes you will find information um, when you search your what radio it is or whatever you might actually find uh, uh, information on it from someone who's already restored one and actually documented it and put it on some site and which is great because they'll have a lot of times they'll have a lot of pictures they'll also have a lot of information about what they ran into and how they overcome that and came about and they a lot of times will have uh, 
schematics and other service information that is just free download. So just some possibilities. This is just literally uh, just scratching the surface. This is there. There's tons of places to get information. I haven't even touched on all the different places by any means, but this will kind of get you going. Uh, whichever way, if you want to have your own um, one, you can go through this guy on eBay and buy it. Again, it's eight ninety nine, free shipping. Uh, he, and you always have it. Uh, it's good scans, really good scans. So, nostalgia air. Sometimes their scans are not the best in the world, but for free, you know, you can't complain too much. Now, on your other question, there was another question about that he had, and that was if I ever done a video on uh, resistive line cords. Uh, used in early 30s radios that were didn't have transformers in them and no I've never done a video on it other than I don't like them they got hot they could start fires but there is on nostalgia era there is a nice little article and I'll leave the link in the description that talks about them and you can read through this it talks about how to get rid of them uh, using capacitors and stuff so um, it's got a whole gauntlet of information in here so check it out um, and that should answer your questions on that so anyway it's kind of short video like I said all the sites I showed on here will be in the description the links will be there so all you got to do is you don't have to worry about trying to pause or look where the, wherever I went because I didn't even really show too much of the actual address bar. But you just look in the description, click on the link, and it should take you right to uh, everything I've talked about. Uh, you know, early town uh, foundation, uh, television foundation, you'll have to go through. I think it's the database or something and of course the other sites you'll have to kind of navigate through their sites to find information you need uh, Sam's this one and then their Sam's regular site again on that but um, so I hope this helps you out and helps other people out that uh, especially new guys in this and uh, so again, it will. All the links will be in the description, so you can just jump right to these sites and go whichever route you want to go. So and you know, make use of Google search too. Uh, like I said, I I just scratch the surface here. The, the, this is not even really could be even considered scratching the surface. Um, there's tons and tons of places to find information out there. Lots of them and uh, it's just simply just searching and stuff but this will definitely um, can get you going so um, I think I'll end the video here and I want to thank you all for watching and and uh, commenting and thanks to my new subscribers um, so I see you guys on the next video and uh, have a good day